With survival achieved during the week, Dulwich Hamlet have had the shackles removed ahead of their trip to Wildstone this afternoon. A win for the host today could put them to within a point of the playoffs, but they've been inconsistent in recent weeks with three defeats in their last six games, leaving them 10th. Last Saturday saw them lose to Hampton and Richmond Borough away from home and they make two changes as Stevens and Pratt come into the side. The Hamlet arrive having taken seven points in their last three games, including last Saturday's convincing 3-1 win over Hungerford Town, which all but secured their status as the National League South club. J. Rich Bagalu replaces Michael Chambers in their sole change as they seek back-to-back -back away wins for the first time since October. The two sides drew 1-1 at Imperial Fields back in September, but will we have a winner this afternoon? And Dulwich Hamlet safe from the threat of relegation. Under the cosh early on. Jerich Bagley lost an aerial battle. And Edwards has made a good save at his near post. It was across al along the ground from Danny Green, who's in good form. Hit the leg of Magnus Okongai. It was uh, going inside the near post, and Edwards has reacted with a smart save. And gone short from the corner. Green taking it. There may still be another chance a shot there is, Edwards has saved and the rebound is into the arms of him, he was scuffed by David Pratt, he may have been blindsided by Connor Stevens. One player who has improved over the season, I don't think he had his best form at the Hamlet first half of the season, but since January he's really put in some good performances, Taj Bats has lost out in the middle of the park but then wins it back and then gifts it to Poku. He's able to play into Monacano who can shoot and Edwards saves low with his boot at the near post and gives his side a fist bump, he looks pumped up with that save. Not happy with Arian Tasbax, who apologises to his goalkeeper. Into Hunt, another one who, like Cook, was very busy and lively last week against Hungerford. Crossed by Cook, and Maskell's at the back post and heads over, free header. Tried to send it back into the far corner. And Dulwich, again, to run the play, almost going one up here. Lovely ball in by Cook. Link up play between him and Hunt, just as it was last Saturday, was impressive there. Near side, away to our right, in swinging corner with that left boot of his. He has gone short, Monacana. Tashback slow to come out to him. Monacana will drive past him, gets to the byline, floats in across, and it's volleyed over. Difficult one for Connor Stevens. Tries to pass forward. Brown will get there ahead of uh, Taylor. Just getting to these balls with a bit more pace about them than the Dulwich players so far. 50 50 balls going Wilson's way. Here's Brown again, coming in from the right wing. Fancy the shot from distance. My side did shot always rising as he tried to guide one towards the far corner general consensus most of the squad actually would like to keep play you can Thompson round the corner to Hunt done edge of two on two here Hunt right side of the area taking on Stevens now can he get that left boot of his yes he can gets in the shot and Dulwich score they've only had uh, one shot in this game that's their first one on target Connor Hunt has goals in back to back games though Thompson winning it back and sending him on his way and from there Dulwich looked dangerous two on two and he showed once that left boot of his in the area and he can open up his body just as he did for his goal last weekend able to send in a shot into the far corner beyond the dive of uh, Jonathan North Dulwich against the run of play has to be said a 1-0 up and he's out mustered his man and Hunt's got it 18 yards out now trying to drive past Tyler shown backwards into Taj backs Tees up Ferguson as he fancy shot first time. Yes, he does. Ferguson just wider than the near post. Had to take it then with the defender closing him down. I scored a few from outside the box this season. Nathan Ferguson stayed calm on the ball to turn away from a couple of Wilson men. Then chips one out to the left wing. Maskell will try and bring it down against Tyler. Should be the fullback who wins it. Wilson man, it was. He only heads into Akinyemi. He tries to bend one to the corner. Lovely idea. It did start to bend, but not quite enough from Akinyemi. Grant, infield at the moment. Goes to the right wing with his pass. Monacana running at Maskell. It was sending across. It was his back pedalling and had to palm over his crossbar. It was nestling in that top corner if he hadn't. Good uh, reactions though from the Dulwich goalkeeper. Wasn't going to be caught out there from the far side. Both centre backs forward once again. Sixth corner of the game for them. Ferguson gets in the first header, drops from Monacana just outside the D. On to Grant. Now to send in another cross. Edwards comes through a whole load of bodies. Goes over the ball. And the corner's been given. It was came for the ball, flapped at it. Lovely crossover ball out to Grant. Control wasn't bad either. Checks inside of Thompson, whips in across with his right boot, knocked down by Brown. And Green's touch deserted him in a bad area there. Only about 10 yards out. Thompson. Coming back to uh, Arian Tajbacks, former Crawley man, sending a pass out to Cook. It's a lovely pass as well. That's where Cook's most dangerous. If he can work across. He's able to send one in and Akinyemi will try and head on. He does into the arms of the keeper. Got up well, Akinyemi. Got above Stevens. 
header into the arm of uh, the goalkeeper. Thompson back to Hunt. Good give and go to those two. Hunt driving towards the area. He was blocked off before he could shoot. Cook will try and get involved now. Wins about as the area wins a free kick. Anthony Cook, a little over 20 yards out. Cook after his goal last weekend, surely the favourite hit. He does take it. It's brilliant. He's done it again. Just as he did last Saturday. He's produced a scintillating free kick into the roof of the net. They enjoyed that one, and he scores in both games against Wilstone this season. Dunnage not had the lion's share of the play in this first half. All the uh, number of chances you'd have hoped from them. And they've been clinical when they have had those chances presented. And Cook, just as he did last Saturday, finds the back of the net with a free kick. I think there are a few Wilstone fans that applauded that as well. It's brilliant from him. It really is. Green controlling the ball just inside the area gets a Conga who's not letting him wriggle free and in the end referee gives a free kick a Conga had one nibble too many on Danny Green there Green that's tipped behind by Woods might well have been trickling wide didn't look like a pacey one from uh, Danny Green managed to get it over the wall Edwards got two hands on it to push it wide not come with this one Edwards the header is won by Young Jay Rich Bagaloo. And then Tajbats with the second header out to Connor Hunt. And Dulwich will try and break now. And he's away from Poku and leaves him for dead. And Dulwich have two on one here. One defender against uh, Hunt and Akinyemi. Still Hunt. This for three. Low save by North. Well, Akinyemi wasn't used by Hunt there. Tries to take on Tyler himself. Tyler got a little touch on the ball, which just uh, halted his run slightly, Hunt. He still went for the shot, but it's a good low save to his left from uh, Jonathan North. They have to at least get a point from this position. Give himself a chance going into the last two games. Jerich Bagel under pressure. Head's clear. Brown back towards Pratt. Drop for Tyler and then Brown takes the shot. Didn't hit it sweetly, but deflected off a Dulwich man will be a corner. Nice turn from Green to get away from Ferguson. Buy him some time on the ball and then he sidesteps Taj backs as well. He's got Monacana waiting on the outside. Green might take this himself. Goes inside of Aaron Taj. Lovely skill. Well, it wasn't the shot that the uh, build-up play warranted. Kept at bay by Poku but he's supported by Hunt. Dulwich is two liveliest players linking up on the right wing. On the outside now is Cook. Low cross into Thompson who gets the head of uh, his marker to the ball. Trying to drag it back. Find the space for the shot. He does. Block Thompson again. Tees up Taj backs this time. He was trying to place into the uh, far corner. It was Christian Smith who stuck out a boot on that occasion. Smith again deep to receive. Green. Two sort of possessions. A nice looking ball over the top. Edwards has come herring off his line and somehow got up ahead of Brown and Monacano. Almost scissor kicked away by Edwards. That's where it comes to Monacana. 22 yards out. Can he find a shot perhaps? He sidestepped Taj backs. Gets to the chance of Jairus Bagaloo. And the pass went through to James Clark and Edwards smothered him. Got the ball down low. The last couple of minutes they've uh, been in a couple of good pro uh, promising positions and Green's carrying the ball from midfield again. Out on the wing is Alarakia. Grant gets onto his left boot and he shoots. It's just whizzed over. Took a little nick on its way through, maybe off Charlie Allen. Edwards can only watch it. Just over his crossbar. Bobby Wilkinson trying to rally up the troops on the touchline. Monacana slipping past through the middle. It's come through to Clark. Oh, he scuffed his shot at the end, just rushed at it. Ball evaded Christian Smith and came through to James Clark. First touch was decent, but then just stabbed at it a bit too soon as Edwards advanced on him. Free kick. He nodded into Jay Rich Bagaloo's path and he goes long up to Cook. First touch takes it away from Grant and then he swivels him nicely. Lovely play from Anthony Cook and this is where he's so dangerous running at the area. Cook goes down. That's got to be a penalty. It is. Cook went through the motions there. Revved up through the gears and he's floored by the number four Connor Stevens as he was in full flight. And Dulwich. We'll have a chance to extend the lead from 12 yards and Cook gives the ball to Akinyemi. Scored the three he's taken this season. Good in one at chipping him in the last away game. Torquay and Billericke he's also scored against from uh, 12 yards out. 
Looking composed, as he always does. Keeper started to go to his left, so Akinyemi put it to his right. And it's his 18th goal of the season. And he gets his name on the score sheet. Dulwich have a third, and that is the points, well and truly, going back to South London this afternoon. Once again, a slight movement from the goalkeeper. And as soon as he did that, Akinyemi just tucked into the other corner. Very, very calmly done. Man who always seems to have a cool head in those situations. Driving forward is uh, Tarin Alarakia, and he's broken into the area past Taylor. Gets in the shot. Edwards claws it away, and a Kongai heads down to Taylor, who can clear to Winadio. Alarakia again. Tail up from that chance a moment ago. Taking on Kwai Taylor once more. Can't dive in Taylor in his own area. Grant. He fans the shot from distance. It's off a Kongai and it's gone in. Well, the shot wasn't going in from Freddie Grant. A Kongai has diverted that into his own net. Wildstone, probably too little, too late to mount a comeback. Certainly wasn't goal bound that from Freddie Grant. The Dulwich won't get the clean sheet that they uh, deserve this afternoon. I think Edwards just uh, letting his captain know that wasn't goal bound. Tashback's not uh, played particularly well the last 10 minutes or so, giving the ball away quite a lot, but broken up attack, so you can't uh, fault him too much. Monacan has drilled in the shot, Edwards has saved it near post, come out for Tyler! The rebound back into the arms of uh, Edwards. It was a real stinger from Jeffrey Monacana. Could only palm it back into the uh, danger area in front of him, and Tyler had the shot, but he didn't strike it cleanly enough. Gav may not have been a dominant performance on the ball, but a very clinical one today. Yeah, definitely. Uh, very clinical. We are um, <coughs> away from home to a team that's been very good all season, um, vying for the playoffs with some very good players uh, for this level of football. Uh, and we showed them respect by, by playing a bit deeper, uh, maybe letting them start the attacks. Uh, but we knew we had threats on the, on the counter um, and we showed that with all three of our goals really. We didn't start too quick, but then once we got um, a hang of the game, like we most definitely um, we, we stamped our, our print on the game. Not always been great away from home this season, but Gavin said played a bit deeper, played with a bit more respect against your opponents today, and then you got your Josh rewards perhaps? Yeah, I think tactically we, um, we, we actually executed the game plan very well. And um, yeah, so that came off and then obviously it worked. We got uh, two good goals in the first half and it, obviously they've got everything to play for, so they threw everything at it. And then um, we've got to be under a bit of pressure, but we got the third. And I think it was an own goal from Mags in the end. Um, deflection, unlucky deflection, but um, to get them back in it. But I think um, it was a good away performance on the boys. We knew the crosses were coming in the box. Uh, we made it predictable as possible. Uh, we tried to not make them open us up. <clears throat> Only towards the end they opened us up a few times because we got tired, but they didn't really open us up a lot, although they had good possession. Um, we forced them to cross the ball. Um, and it gave us a better chance to sort of defend the crosses. We rolled our luck a few times, but um, who don't ride their luck? Which one was better from you, last week or today? I don't know, I'll let everyone else be the judge of that. <laughs> you must be enjoying your football, they look like you're playing with a lot of freedom at the moment. Yeah, no, whatever, whatever position I'm asked to play, obviously I'll, just, I'll give my best and, um, and try to do whatever the gaffer wants to do. So, um, yeah, it, sometimes you have good games, you have bad games, but all you can do is just try your best and then see what happens. We were competitive, um, and to be honest with you, uh, these are the performances that I felt have been lacking from us this season as a group. Um, we all can learn from that uh, moving forward because a lot of teams win games away from home without being brilliant. Um, and I think we've started to realise that. It's a good feeling. Uh, sometimes we want to go and uh, control games away from home and it's not always possible. Um, but yeah, it's great to get another three points. Must have been very pleasing for you the second week in a row where Anthony and, uh, and Connor have been very direct in their approach and they've been rewarded with a goal again. And obviously Cookie winning the penalty as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, good end product. Uh, Cookie with a free kick, excellent. Um, Connor's finish, almost guaranteed in, in a sense in the way he takes his goals. Um, probably could have had another or slip dipo in, but I, I like the, the fact that he was in those areas and he was he was attacking and, and he was direct, as you say. Um, Cookie's run, excellent for the for the penalty, and, and Dippo slotted as he has been.